hello 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 welcome back guys to my youtube channel so today we are gonna apply for chance cutter visa application uh, how you can apply or get a new kind of visa which is named as chance cutter and uh, come to germany for 12 months and find your desired job or skill job which you like which you want to pursue and while doing that you can work part time so that is one importance of this chance cutter compared to normal job seeker visa which we usually usually had before germany had now two types of visa still they have two types of visa so one is chance cutter which is new and one was a job seeker visa which was for just six months uh, technically it's the same thing but the only good thing about which i saw from chance cutter is here your stay is 12 months and with chance cutter you can also can work part time so that is one good thing because in job seeker visa you just had six months and you were not supposed to work uh, part time so you just have to find job and yeah if you don't get a job you have to go back so this is a good thing so let's see i know it's a uh, it's very late applying but yeah it was not my primary intention of applying to visas but uh, uh, so many of you guys asked me in the comments to apply and show how to apply for you uh, what you can say chance cutter so i'm making a video to help you guys now we can click on chance cutter website so here you can click on or check for chance cutter.com and here you have specified language german english and turkey so the best thing uh, i have chosen is english so here also if it is longer video i will convert into parts first we will go through the advantages and what are the things that you're gonna get and how it is uh, the chance cutter is given for each of the individual based on the skill set and what are the requirements they have well that first thing so advantage so now you can get a fast entry into germany and chance of permanent residence so this they are mentioning because uh, after you coming as a chance cut or any job seeker visa you will get a job then if you get a job you will apply for blue card then you will be chance of permanent residence after blue card you can apply for permanent residence. like that they are saying but yeah advantage is good income yes they after once you get a skillful skill work here or the one professional in, uh, engineering jobs the income is always good income so that is good and guaranteed work permit so again here a guaranteed work permit uh, if you don't have a work permit you can't stay here so they have to give so that is one then possibility of full-time work yes possibility of full-time work they are saying that when you're doing you can do a part-time job up to 20 hours after you get a job then you can convert it to a blue card then you can start full-time so here what are the advantage i just said so you can apply opportunity card either apply opportunity card either and at the foreigners uh, registration office or uh, visa global uh, which is in bangalore or any of your uh, states where they have visa global or vfs offices now first what are the basic requirements that you guys have so with the introduction of new resident title this federal government entry condition is for the prospective workers from non-eu countries okay this is one thing then you have to have at least two years of occasional training or university degree so here this is one one good thing when 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 i remember if i'm not wrong when my friend who applied for job seeker visa at that time you should have at least three three years of degree or four years of degree which is recognized by german university so that was the case for jo uh, what you can say the job seeker visa now in the oppor uh, opportunity card you should have at least two years of vocational training or university degree okay then one more good thing is basic knowledge of german a1 and or it is english b2 so you should if you have il certificate that's enough you should not necessarily have a german a1 but if you have it's a very good option because if you have some little knowledge of german once you come for an opportunity or a chance cut here you have an opportunity to work part time now so you can use this german skill of basics to work in any part time jobs that would be very helpful for you guys so this is one then uh, you will be required to finance your own living expenses this is normal i don't i don't know uh, how the application proceeds we can check in future but for student when we applied we had our own what you can say blocked account i don't know we, we here also you have to block or you just have to show how much you have 
so it depends we can check in the uh, what you can say application then if you meet all your basic requirements then it will be on a point system uh, point system based for the qualification here one note which i got from my friend also he told uh, if you're younger then the points or you you uh, you will get a more point so that will that is also one important point you can have a what you can say note it down so you must have at least six points to be allowed so this is one now key advantages we talked and here if you can see the one biggest advantage of this is this the opportunity card permits you to stay in germany for one year look for a suitable job and part-time or casual job or up to 20 hours a week so in full-time uh, the full-time jobs that we are doing with the blue card we usually do 40 hours a week so that half will come to 20 hours a week you can do any uh, uh, what you can say full-time job and anything then also as well as two weeks of trial job so this is one good thing you can also earn and stay here for one year until you find a job then with the opportunity card you can get to know your new employer your leisure job suits and qualification blah 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 then possibility of permanent resident in uh, germany so this means once part-time germany uh, part-time jobs of 20 years also possible which can be divided into flexibility so here what they're saying is if you intend to, to change your part-time to full-time so this is one more thing which i wanted to mention here this is some people are just focusing on skilled workers and just saying people who have done bachelors people who have done like uh, what you can say some technical course engineering can come here and stay now this they have made it for other guys also say example people who have not done any known recognized degree like engineering uh, some other degree and if you don't want to stay in your home country and come out and work for some time here you can work come here and do some non-technical jobs like say example uh, ikea or some other uh, restaurants or some dhl dpd and uh, any of these jobs you can start working as part-time so once you grow in a part-time once you have a good knowledge of german if you increase in one year then you can convert that part-time into full-time if they are providing you so this not necessarily has to be for engineers it is for everyone to improve the uh, skilled workers or other workers in germany that's why they have come up with so this is one good thing that possibility of permanent resident in germany is very good because in job seeker visa that we had that was for uh, not for engineering graduates the people who had a degree qualification uh, of minimum three to four years was allowed so this is one good thing then secure life field guaranteed work permit until you work in non-eu uh, non countries germany and here if, if you have a full-time job you will have a work permit for sure then good chance of qualified part-time and full-time job this i will agree with them because based on the cities that you want so here you you, you do the best thing here is you don't have to choose which city i don't think uh, in future how they will choose the uh, city because they will give a visa for in uh, germany complete germany because in our case it was different for students because in students you will get visa based on what you can say which city you're staying so here you won't get like that because here you can stay in bigger cities like well known where you have where you have more part time jobs and more full time opportunities like say example the bigger cities are berlin munich stuttgart dortmund or any dusseldorf cologne so these are like bigger cities where you have more opportunities so you can stay there work there and get your full time opportunity there so that is one good thing i can suggest so conclusion is the Key takeaways are the opportunity card will given for 12 months. The focus is used to search a suitable job. Yes, this is your main focus. Okay. Then other thing is while you are searching, you can also do your part time. Then and also if you if you don't have your degree specifically recognized in Germ Germany, in addition you must have uh, A1 and B2 and the financial means support of your independent. So these are the uh, requirements that you have. Check your score with our or own points uh, calculator so here